how to connect Shopify to Google Merchant Center for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back to yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking in great detail and depth about Shopify and how you can connect your Shopify store to your Google Merchant Center. So let's just get straight into this. So we're going to just go ahead and log in with our Shopify store and, uh, you know, uh, get straight into the dashboard section and uh, in the dashboard section basically while the dashboard section is loading what you are going to do is uh, you can also open your google merchant in the new tab so here you can see you have your merchant center so i'm going to open that up and i'm going to keep this open over here so in one tab we have shopify all good and loaded up and set to go and in one tab we have the merchant center so i'm just going to come over to shopify i'm going to switch to online store over here and as we switch to online store uh, i'm just going to wait for things to load up and here on merchant center obviously you can see share your business and products across google so basically merchant is a type of an affiliation okay merchant is your affiliate so they're going to take off the products that you're selling and then you're going to put them up on the google store so like people not the google store essentially but just out on the internet so people can actually see your product so to set myself up with the merchant i'm going to go ahead and click on sign up for free on merchant and i'm going to go ahead click on get started now as we click on get started okay what's going to happen from here is that yeah here we're going to load up over here and it's going to load up into Google Merchant Center next. Okay, so it says no products added yet. Show your products to customers who are looking to buy products like yours. Okay, so obviously when it states something like that, you can actually add products that uh, you can choose from some food bank of yours. Now, I already have a Merchant Center ID and, uh, you know, um, business center set up. So it's not an issue for me. Now, once you have created some type of product you can obviously go ahead and add it directly from your shopify store so let's say i have a few shopify products over here that i want to add into my merchant center you know so uh some people do face errors when you go into the conversion section but trust me the methods i'm going to show you there aren't going to be error any errors when it comes to managing your actual product so do not worry and just follow my steps you can also follow these steps you know add a business and then uh, you can verify your phone number confirm the online store of your business add details to how you ship your products and then finally add your products you can do it step by step or you can directly add your products but before that we're going to come over here and search or you can just go ahead into add apps and i'm going to go in all recommended apps and we're going to go into shopify app store now, once you go into your Shopify app store, we're going to go over to Google and YouTube. Okay. We're going to, we're just going to go ahead and write that. And as you write Google and YouTube, basically it's going to give you a Google and YouTube uh, application that we're going to need to install. It's totally free to install. It doesn't take any amount of money for you. So shouldn't be an issue installing it. So just go ahead and install it. And after you install it, what's going to happen is you're obviously going to go ahead and connect your Google account to this. OK, now, once you connect your Google account to this, what's going to happen from there on out is that it's going to give you the privileges and it's going to allow you to actually go ahead and add it to your sales channel. And you can connect the Google account with your Shopify. OK, obviously, because we're downloading it on Shopify, so it's going to connect the Google account with Shopify. And obviously, Google and YouTube does provide us the Merchant Center privileges. So things should be pretty overall, you know, good to go. Now, as we're over here, I'm just going to wait for things to load up. And uh, as you can see, things have loaded up over here. So let's go ahead and click on connect google account obviously you're going to connect the same google account that you've connected in your merchant center okay you can't connect anything different so yeah connected that google account uh, you're just going to come here okay click on the account you want to connect 
And once you've clicked the account you want to connect from there on out, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to wait for things to load in. And once things have loaded in, you're going to click on allow and it's going to be set it up. So as you can see, once your Google account is connected, it gives you all these things like product listings. It tells you to add your products to Google Merchant Center so your listings can actually appear on your Google Shopping, searching images and other places. So obviously to set things up you can add valid payment methods you know create online store and all these things but we already have that so we don't really need to mess around with that but obviously if it tells you to set those things up because without those things you can't really um go ahead and get into the details and the main good stuff of the store so you are going to need to go ahead and mess around with these things but yeah overall once you complete the steps that it requires you to complete you're pretty much going to be set to go because there's not a lot that you can do after that so yeah just set the things up that it asks you to set up and once you've done that it's finally going to tell you to connect the merchant account now as you can see it already gives me my merchant account so look at this food bank with the same merchant id 75753504875753548 so same merchant ID, same account, same account name, same verification needed, product feed settings, etc. So everything's the same. All you're going to need to do, add a valid payment method with a good payment provider, you know, could be a card, bank, whatever, you know, create an online store, which I already have. So you just want to verify it Add a refund policy in terms of use. You just go ahead and click on these and it's going to redirect you to the steps that you need to do. And then confirm that you've added contact info to your store. Google will check your account to make sure, you know, everything is of high level and trustworthy. And once all of that is done, yeah, you're going to be good to go. So that is how you're going to connect a Google Merchant Center account to your Shopify. Now, uh, that's pretty much about it. So, uh, yeah, pretty much if you enjoyed that video, let me know down in the comments below. And I will be making more videos like this for you. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, uh, just let me know. And uh, I will obviously start working on them right away. Uh, but yeah, that's the general gist of how we're going to work with Shopify and how we're going to connect it to our Merchant Center. Now, if you enjoy this video, please do make sure to drop down a like on it and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, uh, pretty much about it. And again, do not forget that when you're connecting your merchant center, you are going to want to make sure that it's fully set it up on the other side on Google, because if it's fully set it up there, then it, you know, saves you from the hassle that you're going to need to go through on this side. Okay. So yeah, just uh, do all these steps correctly and things should, you know, sail pretty easily. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching and I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.